Okay, so today we are going to replace turn signal wiper handle replacement here. Uh, this one quit going back to center on left-hand turns. Uh, you have to manually put it back up. After you make your turn, uh, something I can deal with, not that big a deal, but we're gonna replace it. It's an, it should be pretty easy. You've got two screws on the top. You've got four on the bottom here that we're gonna take out. They are Torx head, as you can see. So we're gonna do that. Uh, main reason I'm doing it is to test product called Freightliner to get her, get this replacement right here. They wanted $337. And to me, that was kind of ridiculous. So, I looked at Rainey's on a lot of times on Freightliner parts. Get them a lot cheaper at Rainey's, uh, Rainey's.com. They wanted an extra $15, and shipping was going to be fifteen dollars and it was going to take a couple weeks to get here so I, I did not go that route but i did it was a lot cheaper though it was 67 dollars it's what they had the product listed at but at by the time you added another 30 you were looking at you know mid 90s on everything so searching again i found it on walmart uh, this is actually just, I got it from walmart.com. It was free shipping. It was 80, $87. I think after tax, it was 91, 92. I ordered it Tuesday and it came in yesterday, which was Friday. Uh, here's the part. Uh, it simply plugs in right here. It'll have two Torx bolts that uh, once we get the column open, that hold it into the column. Uh, so there you go. So we're gonna put this on and see if it's worth ninety dollars versus three hundred and thirty-four. Uh, and with Freightliner, that was before tax, so you're looking at well over, you know, three hundred fifty bucks. But uh, we're gonna put this in and see if it uh, is a good product for the price. Okay, we got the column dropped on it. Uh, once you do the four bolts on the bottom, it just fell out. Then you undo the four, the two bolts on top here. And this just, I mean, you just slide it forward like that. And we've got torques here, uh, torques underneath here. Right there. And then it will simply, over here, okay, you got a tab right here that you'll push in. And it'll unplug. So we're gonna undo these here and underneath. Pull this out and uh, put the other one in. Okay, so I can tell you right now, the Walmart piece is not gonna work. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. What do you see different? The old one's got this piece that sticks out. It tells it when to go back to center and when to kick off. Look at the Walmart one. It's not there. There's no way that one's going to work. So, here's the deal where you, uh, you get what you pay for, I reckon. So, this is the piece that was in the old turn signal that wasn't in the new one. And because I am ADHD and just love to take stuff apart and see how it works, I went ahead and took it apart. And there's no way to put it in the new turn signal. So, come to find out after doing research, that turn signal I ordered was for a 2014 and up Cascadia. 2014 to 2017. And unfortunately, you can't buy the turn signal after market for the 08s to the 2013s. 
that are made with this piece in them aftermarket. So if you want a brand new one, you have to spend the $338 through Freightliner and, and get a new one. I'm probably just going to go to my junkyard and get a used one and put it on there. Like you saw, four bolts on the bottom of that column, two bolts on the top. And the column comes right apart. Then you've got two torque screws that hold it in there and the electrical piece. I had this thing in and out about four different times within an hour and a half. And it is plug and play if you do get the right part. So that's it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to take apart. And uh, make sure you order the right year number turn blanker. Learn from my mistakes. We'll talk to you all later.